All eyes on the tropics here as we watch Hurricane Laura begin to make its approach to land later on this evening. We're already starting to see some of the far outer cloud uh, start to make their way into the region from the south here this morning. Notice most of the rain to our south, uh, parts of northern Alabama back into Arkansas, some showers and storms. We will begin to see some of those outer rain bands actually make their way into our region as we head into this afternoon. So best chance of the rain will be during the heat of the day. Not everybody's going to see rain Wednesday, but if you get caught in one of these, it could produce some very heavy rainfall over a short period of time. Oftentimes when we think about tropical systems, though, we don't see a lot of lightning. There is still likely a chance that we're going to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms with lightning and thunder this afternoon, but not expecting a lot of lightning uh, with the showers here over the next couple of days. So again, this afternoon uh, with the clouds around, actually going to keep temperatures down just a bit, but uh, the humidity is going to be very high. That tropical moisture moving in from the south. So yes, the temperature is going to be down, but the heat index this afternoon is still running into the mid to upper 90s. There is Hurricane Laura back into the Gulf of Mexico and just look at the sheer size of this thing, taking up about half of the Gulf of Mexico, a category three storm as of about 8 o'clock this morning. That will continue its track north and northwestward over the next uh, day or two. And then with that, expecting landfall late tonight, possibly as a category three or four hurricane right along the uh, coastline near the Texas and Louisiana line. Then it will make its track further to the north and likely impact our region by Friday. One of the big keys here is this cold front moving in from the north on Friday. It's going to impact how quickly the system turns to the east, but something to keep an eye on. And it does look like it has its, uh, its eyes set on our region right now. One to two inches of rainfall forecasted mainly south of Route 13 in southern Illinois, also into western Kentucky and southeast Missouri. I do expect the heaviest rain will fall into the Missouri boot heel, and we're talking about two to four inches of rainfall there, about one to two inches further to the east, and then rainfall amounts actually going to decrease quickly to the north. So some areas say along the I-64 corridor may only see an inch to a half an inch of rainfall. Not a whole lot expected in those areas. So here's the breakdown. Scattered showers, scattered storms on Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday. They're going to be hit and miss, not a complete washout either day. But then on Friday, the main event arrives, and that will be the remnants of Laura. Some periods of very heavy rainfall, especially in the afternoon hours. Gusty winds. We could see some gust upwards of 30 to 35 miles per hour and a few stronger storms possible. There's enough wind shear, possibly enough instability here. A couple storms could produce brief spin up tornadoes. Of course, we're also going to have the whole breakdown coming up later on tonight. Make sure you tune in with Chief Meteorologist Jim Razor.